So we have a few more minutes before lunch, so I want to move on to a couple of definitions. So what is motivational coaching? It's a radically different way of talking to people. And you were, most of you were surprised that number one wasn't a motivational thing. It's not a bad question. It's just not for right now. So it's a radically different way of talking to people, including yourself, to motivate healthy changes in behavior. It's an evidence-based adaptation of motivational interviewing, which was first defined by Drs. William Miller and Stephen Holman. And what makes people change is getting them to hear themselves argue in favor of it. So they need to hear themselves. It can't just be internal. It's about their reasons for change, not yours. And it's about talking, not arguing. And most importantly, it's about reasons. Reasons why someone wants to do something. Reasons are motives. Motives lead to motivation. Now, let's, let's do a quick sentence completion task, and then we'll break for lunch. Then I'll give you the six steps that will lead to a seven-minute motivational coaching session, and we'll practice those when we come back. Follow along with me. I'm going to give you the first part. Don't look at the book right now. I work how well with reverse psychology. <laughs> All right. This is what we call change talk, when people argue in favor of change for their own good reasons, because they really only convince themselves. People only listen to one person. It's not their coach, I'm sorry. It's themselves. All right. Where there's a will, there's a way. Very good. You can lead a horse to water. But you can. Who's that? Another door prize. Salt the oats. There we go. That's, that's the most frequently left off part of that statement. <laughs> You're not off the hook. You've got to do something else. And, and Okay, so am I is not a trick. This is, but we need to salt the oats. Talk is? Actions speak louder than? Words. Okay. But I'm telling you, that the change talk, the words, arguing in favor of their own reasons for change is important. So how could it be that that fits with talk is cheap and actions speak louder than words? Well, because of the following. But without the right words, there is no chance of action. And with all the wrong words, yeah, I heard it, nothing's going to change. So we have to first focus on the words. We want good outcomes. But the right words are the clients saying their own reasons why they want to make the change. You can come up with a change, they can come up with a change, but it's got to be their reasons. But as you'll see after lunch, the technique requires a sort of game of password. <coughs> Remember, who remembers the, the game show password? Okay, good. A lot of audiences, I get that. Nobody does. <laughs> you can't tell them. I'm going to give you six motivational questions that will elicit those reasons from them in an autonomy-enhancing conversation that focuses on the relationship. And we'll do that after lunch. Okay, so come back here after lunch. <laughs>